Hi, everyone. We are Jenny Lee, Felicia Yao, Garrity Chapman, and Gladys Ohm. Our project is called Nightfall. It's based on the game Werewolf, which is similar to Mafia. Nightfall is a real-time chat-based multiplayer game where players are split up into villagers and werewolves, but nobody knows who is who. Our motivation for creating Nightfall was that we wanted to develop an app where users can interact in real time that's fun and that offers interesting technical challenges. For example, since every player keeps their role a secret from other players, the game state is different for everyone. We looked at other implementations of Werewolf and found ways to improve on them. Some online versions require a human moderator, making the game flow slow and prone to delays. Also, a human moderator can make mistakes. We solve these problems by making the moderator's role fully automated, eliminating the need for a human moderator. And now, Garrity will talk about game flows. Thanks, Gladys. So when a user visits our site, they're automatically logged in using Firebase's anonymous login. They can choose to either create a new game and um, invite all their friends, or they can join an open game. We didn't want users to have to log in to play, so we had to track users another way. We solved the issue by using uh, Firebase's user IDs. Anytime a player refreshes their page, we simply check if their user ID is in our game roster. If it is, the moderator will feed the store events um, to catch that player up to the current game state. The moderator always starts a game by assigning you your secret role. Um, one third of the group will be werewolves, the rest are villagers, except for a seer and a priest. Each player receives a private message from the moderator telling them what their role is, and play always begins with nightfall. At nighttime, the werewolves awaken and vote on a villager to kill. The priest gets to choose a player to protect, and the seer gets to learn a player's secret role. As day breaks, the villagers all deliberate and gossip. By day's end, they all vote on a villager to kill who they believe to be the real werewolf. Next up, Felicia's gonna talk to you about data flow. One of our biggest challenges was that our game has a complex interaction between each player's input and what should be visible to a single user at any given point. All actions happen simultaneously, but only some content should be public. When users are chatting, all messages happen in real time, so everyone receives simultaneous updates. But night actions are specific to each role. Only werewolves see werewolf actions. Normal villagers are sleeping at night. They only receive updates on who died when they wake up the next morning. All player actions, such as sending a message or voting, are recorded in a database. The moderator is the only one who sees this info. It filters the actions and figures out the next game state. Then it broadcasts an edited version of the complete game state to each individual player. Everyone is listening to their own personal channel and receives limited information. This way, everyone stays up to date, but they only see what they need to know. Next, Jenny will share interesting features of our project. As just mentioned, a core problem we solved was the real-time but highly altered flow of information to our users. Our answer, our moderator, handles everything from narration to prompting player actions and accepting valid ones. We utilized a variety of libraries to achieve this, but found that Firebase, Firebase and Re React Redux were the perfect fit for us. Uh, we made full use of the event emitters and authentication in Firebase, and Redux was an obvious choice for us so that we could use that database info in players' channels to completely transform their front-end view using React. Nightfall also comes with many other features, including a hand-coded chat box, an open game page for you to join any game. Uh, it also comes with a purgatory channel for the dead players, player action buttons, and all of this is mobile responsive. We had a great time making this game. Um, it was exciting to play through test rounds. You can try it yourself at playnightfall.com. And we thank you so much for your time and attention. <laughs>